Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Shenmue 2. We're at the flower fields. Look, y'all. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are beautiful. The last time I came here, the flowers were still in bud, but now they've all bloomed. Really? Let's move on. There will be more flowers ahead. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Crazy train. What's wrong, Nyo? A strangely shaped tree. A spider tree. A spider? That's what the villagers call it. The branches look like spider legs. Now that you mention it, they do. Whenever I'm walking back to the village, I feel relieved when I see this tree. Huh. We're halfway to Bailu village from here. This tree marks the halfway point. I see. Now come on, the village is this way. I always feel relieved when I see this tree. I just really love spiders. Shenfa. What is it, y'all? Can you give me some options, love? We've come a long way. Are you tired? Uh, I'm fine. I'm used to walking here. Oh, that's right. Are you alright? Do you want to take a rest? No, I'm fine. Let's hurry on our way. You don't have to be in such a hurry now. This path is... The path that you're familiar with? Yes. <laughs> Up ahead there is a clear spring. If you're tired, we can take a rest there. No! A spring. Good idea. Let's go there. No! Alright. Everything's gone wrong. Yes? Uh, Bailu village. How long does it take to get to Bailu village from here? This area is the halfway point between the village and the cave. Alright. You can lead the way from here. Yes. You'll be fine if you follow me. I know the way. Alright. Also, she tried to troll us by lying about how we were the fact that we were halfway. We weren't really halfway. Where we do you usually go when you take this path? I go to the docks of Lang Hui Shan Mountain. Why do you go to the docks? I go there to buy things that I can't get in the village. Like what? Iron is precious in the village. For pots and knives. And also for the tools my father uses for work. Iron. He takes good care of his tools. But when they are broken, he can't get them fixed in the village. Really? What else? I also buy medicines that are only sold in town. Oh, medicines. The villagers usually use herbal medicine. But for emergencies, we need the kind sold in town. Right. Medicine is precious. Yes. The boats bring a lot, but medicines are expensive, so I can't buy that much. I see. Shenfa. Yes? Uh, oh. We've been walking for a long time, but there's no one passing by. No. Hardly anyone visits the village, and hardly any villagers venture from the village. I guess when you're surrounded by these mountains. <laughs> Hmm? What is it? Everyone will be curious when they see you in the village. Yeah, I imagine so. The children will be really happy. It will be their first time to see a foreigner. Children? Yo. <coughs> it would be nice if you could talk to the children. Tell them about Japan and the sea. Yeah, I hope I have the time to do that. Yes? I mean, I will if I can. Yes, please. Oh, well, we don't get to talk to her anymore. The path branches off again. Yo, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. The path is branching off again. <coughs> I told you, you'll be fine if you leave it all to me. This way. Yeah, that's right. The water's color. This spring is called Five Color Spring. 
five color spring. From noon till evening, the water's color changes five times. That's why it has that name. A mysterious spring. Yep. The color will change soon. Look, yo. That turns bright pink. <laughs> does this happen? How? I never thought of the spring as strange. Really? <laughs> That's her young, yo. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Double cuts in. Landslide again. We have to take a different path. I'm sorry, Joe. Huh? After I told you to leave it to me to lead you the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's get back to that branching path. Yeah. Hardly her fault, is it? Calm down, Shampoo. Also, Stephen, my friend, is here, by the way. We have no choice but to go this way. You're right. All right, I'll go first from here. That's fantastic yeah, news. You can lead the way. Why I'd be any work better at leading the way for an unknown area than she would, I don't know. So there you go. Just probably like desperately running oh. off to you, like, please! Wait, you. Huh? What's the matter, Shenpa? These are herbs. Herbs? For my father. Your father? I'm sorry. I kept you waiting. Let's go. <laughs> so, yes, you did. Bailu village, Bailu village, Bailu village, Bailu village. Rocky area! That's not what we agreed, Shempa. That's not what we agreed. A strange landscape. The rocks are like bridges, and many are connected. There are many places with similar terrain in Guilin. But I was surprised too when I first saw this. The scenery looks artificial. True. But it's the wind and water that created the shapes over a long time. Really? <laughs> it's narrow, but I think we can cross it. Yes, but watch your step. Okay. We could die if we fall. If we cross it slowly, we won't fall. Let's go. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> Ryu just stampedes across it. To be fair, Ryu has crossed like tiny, tiny little uh, bits before. Why he thinks this is going to kill him? Do you know what I sense? What? Uh, quick time events. Quick time events. Probably. It would not surprise me. This entire game is quick time events. Steven's never really seen any of this game. Aside from a little bit of last week's. What? Okay, that's what? really going to put me off. Yeah! I'm using a new setup today. So I'm not hearing the audio when it's happening, so it's a bit off-putting. Oh, it was a different side that time. That's not fair, game! <laughs> okay. This is actually very simple. All we need to do is aim ourselves a bit better. Okay, it might get a bit more difficult on a tiny little one like this. I nearly ate my words there, didn't I? Oops. Oops. Oops is not really the thing you say when you're about to fall down a giant chasm. Oh. 
Stop it, Ryu. Are we done now? Anyway, guys, I'm going to come back when we get out of this bit because it's all the same thing. Are we done now? Oh no, we, we do have the jump. Here. Jump carefully. We can make it. Oh. Just fall straight down. Yo, jump! Um, okay. Don't ask me to do a super quick time event. Just do the jump, mate. Why he needed that? But okay. Now I jumped. Go. The path continues. Thought I was leading the way. This way, right? Yes. Good. Let's go. Bai Lu Village. <gasps> that must mean Bai Lu Village. Oh. What is this? These things again. That is a stone lion. The stone lion. It is an ancient Chinese sign placed on the roads that branch off. Road sign. Then. We're back on the usual path. I'm familiar with this path. Really? The village is not far from here now. Let's <gasps> go. Follow me. Yeah. Oh my god. On the upside, we're there. On the downside, we're going to follow her again. Yes? Uh, that stone lion. I saw that stone lion in Hong Kong, too. The stone lion king is a talisman found everywhere in China. A talisman. We pray for safe journeys. So that's why it's sitting by the path. Yes, especially on the points where the paths branch off. Where the paths branch off? I was taught when I was a child that it protects the village from Good. evil spirits. I remember now. I saw them at the entrances of the towns in Hong Kong. That's not a surprise. Also, we pray to it when a child gets sick. A child? Yes. As a child, when I had a fever, the old lady in the village prayed for me. They have them in your village as well? We place them in the village where their roads cross, where some houses have them carved in the walls. I guess they're everywhere. Yes. Shenfa. Yes. Let's talk about animals, dear. Let's talk about danger, actually. Danger, danger. Isn't it dangerous to walk in the mountains alone? There's nothing dangerous here. I just stay put when there's no moon, or when it rains heavily. And if you don't surprise the animals, they won't attack you. Really? If you know about the mountains in the forest, you'll realize that people are just another creature in the mountains. There's nothing to fear. People are also creatures in the mountains. But yo, hmm. watch out for the snakes. They are poisonous ones. Poisonous snakes? Yes. If the snake's head is triangle-shaped, it's poisonous. It slithers on the ground, so you can't notice it even if it's near you. All right, I'll remember that. It would be terrible if you got bitten. Yeah, I'll be careful. Are there lots of poisonous snakes? I see them sometimes, but the poison of the snakes around here isn't too strong. Even if you're bitten, if we take care of it quickly, you'll be fine. I see. Feel better? Yeah, a little. You've not been poisoned yet. What's there. wrong, Shenfa? The two paths. Which way was it? Are we lost? <laughs> no, we'll be fine. Either path will take us to the village. It's just that. What? One of them will be a detour. The path looks so much alike, I can't tell which one. She's lying, she's <laughs> All right. I'll decide on which path to take. Yes. Please do. What? Uh, let's go. 
my god, it says right. Let's go this way. Yeah. She says she doesn't walk all the time. How could she have forgotten which way to go? Bloody Nora. Mountains aren't dangerous, but be careful of the poisonous snakes. <laughs> <laughs> be careful or you might die. Let's have some chats Shenpa. with you, dear. Yeah? Shenpa's house. What does your house look like? My house? Like any other ordinary house in the village. My An ordinary house. house in Baile Village. I can't imagine what it looks like. They're wooden pillars and walls made from dirt. Walls made from dirt? There are houses made from stone in the village, too. We can get various kinds of stones near the village. There are rare beautiful stones and strong ones, too, used to build houses. There are no houses in Japan made from stone. Oh. What do you mean by rare, beautiful stones? You can only find them in Guilin, specifically near Bailu village. They used to be treasured by the emperors and nobles in the city. Emperors and nobles? No. What are Japanese houses made of? Um, my house was made from wood. Most of the old houses are made from wood. Only wood? No, the roofs are tiled, and the windows and doors have glass. Glass? We don't have that in the village. Really? Once broken, it can't be fixed. No one uses it for houses. Oh. Yes. Life. How do the villagers live? Most people cultivate the fields and own water buffalo or goats. Water buffalo. There are horses too, for people to ride on. Can you ride a horse? I can, but I'm not too good at it. Really? When I was small, I wanted to run around freely like the boys. I always wished I could do that. Aren't the girls allowed to ride horses? I wasn't really allowed to. I never rode on a horse before. I heard that the people in town ride in cars. Do you ride cars? Yeah, I got rides. Really? But we don't need them in Bailu Village. You think so? Cars can't get through these mountain paths. I'm sure the horses and cows can get you there faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, we there? We're never there. Yo, the village is this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even Rio knows now. Shenpa. Yes? My god. Is that animals? What sort of animals live here? There are many kinds of animals. Yesterday you told me that there are wolves. There are wolves and bears in these mountains. Wolves and bears. Aren't you scared of them? I'm not scared. Nothing dangerous happens. The bears won't attack people. I see. But if you see a cub, you have to get away from it quickly. Cubs? Yes. The mother bear would fight, risking its own life to protect her child. Risking her own life to protect her child. But bears hardly ever attack people. It's a kind-hearted animal. I see. Right. Oh, so now they want to look at the crazy mountain, that's fine. Hmm. What is that sound? It sounds like a waterfall. I hear it from the path on the left. Is there a waterfall? No. I don't think there was one nearby. Then what is that sound? I don't know. Do you want to go find out? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, why not? Yes. Yes, why not? Looks like a waterfall to me, Shempa.
there's water back in the river. Huh? Look. This river has been dry for months. Ooh, really? We heard this waterfall. But why did the water start running all of a sudden? Last night's rain. The rain made the waterfall, and it's now flowing into the river. That rain made this waterfall. Yes. Whenever it rains hard, small waterfalls are made here and there. Really? The river runs into the Lijiang. The village is up the river. Let's go. Yes. Anyway, guys, sadly, I'm ending the episode here. We still have not made it to Bailu Village, but we've got to have faith that we'll get there eventually. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then feel free to like and subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking at the top left right now, top right to go to the last episode, bottom right to go to the next episode when it airs, and bottom left to go to the playlist. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.